Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, we are going to look at some very important methods of the string class. Uh, now before I do that let me first understand what exactly is there on the stage. On the stage people we have an AS3 layer which obviously contains the action script. We have a text um, fields layer which contains two text fields. The one at the top is uh, having an instance name of S value. It's a classic dynamic text field people. The font family is a Bremer. Uh, it's bold, the size is 57, the color is blue and the font all has already been embedded. By hitting the embed button, uh, choosing uh, uppercase, lowercase, numerals and punctuations, giving it a name of Rima out here and saying OK. It's already been done, that, right? The embedding has already been done. Um, the second text field has an instance name of my text. Again, it's classic and dynamic. Dynamic because it's uh, ever changing, right? Uh, again, the font family, um, Brima bold. Uh, size 57 color blue right the font as I told you has already been embedded right once you do the embedding people the font actually appears out here in the library okay so that's all that is there on the text fields the third field which is the slider field actually contains uh, the slider component okay uh, this slider component which has an instance name of s okay has a max value of 9 a min of 0 and the current value is also 0 the live dragging is turned on the direction is horizontal right so these are the different um, objects that have been placed on the stage and let's dive inside the actions panel <coughs> right this is the actions panel for you people uh, these you know the important methods of the string class that i'm about to uh, you know explain to you is carat sub str and substring uh, let's read the definitions out one by one so the carat map mm, you know the method of the, the string class actually returns the character in position specified by the index parameter uh, in fact uh, when i actually um, use the slider component to manipulate this string okay uh, things will become much more clear the sub str method has two arguments the starting number and the length and the definition says the returns a substring consisting of the characters that start at specified start index with a length specified by length right the substring method says that again um, it needs to you know the um, arguments the start index and the index and uh, the definition says returns a string consisting of the characters specified by start index and all characters up to the end index minus one right uh, again uh, the uh, you know the definition is may not be very clear to you at the moment but uh, as I uh, I create a slider event and uh, you know things will become much more clear after I practically show you an example <coughs> excuse me okay so let's start people what I've done is I've added an event listener to s s is the uh, slider okay the min is uh, 0 the max value for the slider is um, uh, 9 um, so um, the event is a slider event specifically of the type change I would want a function new str to fire uh, and let's construct this function new str in line number 15 I've created a variable str data type it to string and it contains 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay it's not a number it's a string people the reason why I've actually pushed in is a, num a number inside the string is uh, so that it becomes very easy for us to understand let's first uh, look at the caret method okay so if you remember we had it we have a text field which is um, s value that's actually gonna hold the uh, value of the uh, slider component. So using the text property, I'm gonna push in um, s dot value, which is the value of the slider. Okay, the current value of the slider. Uh, but again, I need to data type that to a string because uh, text fields cannot contain numbers. So I'm just gonna come out here and uh, prefix the word reserved word string out here. So if I were to hit control enter now and slide the slider, you can actually see what happens. Uh, you can see that the value of the slider is actually thrown inside the text field. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, similarly, I have yet another uh, text field, which is the uh, my text. And using the text property, I'm going to throw inside it the str, which is this string people in line number 15. Okay, this string dot 
char at so character at and then s dot value it needs just one uh, argument which is uh, i'm going to push the s dot value out here okay so now depending on what the value of the uh, slider is it's going to display a different character every time let me hit control enter and let's see what happens okay so have a look people as i slide the slider now what happens so it's pulling up one single character depending on the index number that's pushed in if the index number is 9 the character display is actually also 9 right so depending on the index number of the string it's pulling up one character since coincidentally the uh, you know index numbers coincide with the numbers out here inside the string uh, both these values thrown inside the text fields are the same right now let's replace the char at method with the um, sub str method so that's sub str okay now the sub str method actually takes um, um, two arguments the first one is the start index the second one is the length but if you do not specify the length as I'm not going to do uh, in the beginning uh, it's going to take the length as the entire length of the string okay uh, let me uh, straight away hit control enter to show you what I mean so people have a look what happens as I actually slide see initially uh, it's, it's gonna display all the uh, 10 characters so the starting index 0 and the you know start index 0 and then the second parameter was actually the length right since I've not specified the length it takes the entire length and see what happens as I slide the slider so as you can see it goes on truncating uh, the string so starting index number seven and then uh, the uh, length you know the entire length which was not actually specified out here okay uh, let's specify a value and see what happens let's say I would want uh, it to display five uh, characters at a time only let me hit control enter and show you what I uh, what's what's happening out here okay uh, I'm sorry this needs to be passed in out here beg your pardon let me hit control enter now and uh, see see at one given point of time it's gonna display only five characters now okay a uh, starting index number that's actually decided by the uh, slider value cool okay so this is how the uh, sub str method actually works let me replace the sub str method with the sub string method so that's ing just add ing to whatever was already written uh, let me hit control enter now and let's see what happens as a slide okay so starting index it'll take uh, you know initially it'll take zero as the starting index and five as the ending index so it'll display uh, only the characters between the starting and the ending index as you can see if i were to not include this uh, additional optional parameter let's see what actually happens let me hit control enter once again right it takes the entire length as the length uh, argument right people so it's going to display all the characters uh, between the starting index and the length specified cool so people uh, i hope now the definitions char at sub str and substring are uh, quite clear in your mind now so i, I think it was a cool uh, example using the slider component uh, to illustrate how the char at the sub str and the substring methods uh, which are very important methods of the um, string class actually work i hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this tutorial and i hope to see you uh, come again uh, and again uh, for my tutorials you have a good day guys bye bye peace